This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So as you already heard, this is a content creator program Mr. Fantastic will be leaving my account on Monday. So I have just a little bit of time here to go over this guy with you so that you can make a decision whether you want to go for him in the arena or not. And I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Uh, since this is a first look, uh, we're going to just go ahead and take a brief look over his attributes and his abilities. And then I'm going to read to you all of the information that we were given about Mr. Fantastic. And it has some stuff in there that should help you make a decision on him. All right. So you can see there his tags. Uh, switch over percentages so you can see his attributes here. And let's go to his synergies. And again, just showing you the synergies. We're not going to go into any of these. I do a closer look video and that one we will go more in depth when I finally get around to doing that. But I think you'll have quite a bit of information uh, from the document that they gave us. All right, so here we go. Signature ability. You got some of his abilities here, passives. Pre-fight abilities. And we are going to talk about some things that are unique to Mr. Fantastic. First time a champion has these attacks, I mean, uh, these abilities. All right, see that cross fight ability there? Uh, that's something that we have not seen in the contest yet. All right, and then just take a look here. You can see his special attacks. All right. So now I'm going to read to you the information that we have on him. And then we'll end the video with just a little gameplay so you can see his animations uh, and what he's about there. All right, so first things first, his mechanics. Uh, they're saying that Mr. Fantastic is one of the most versatile, utility-focused champions in the game with many abilities that benefit his entire team just by being on it. His main goal during fights is to stack up as many debuffs on the opponent as possible. Since he has quite a few abilities that get stronger depending on the number of debuffs. He also has two mechanics that are new to the contest. He's able to trigger pre fight debuffs on an opponent, then have a teammate fight that opponent and take advantage of the debuff without Mr. Fantastic having to participate in the fight himself. He is also the first champion with cross fight abilities. Those are abilities that attach to their target for multiple fights and apply their effects even if Mr. Fantastic is knocked out or another teammate enters the fight instead. So. He reminds me a lot of Captain America Infinity War, where he has a lot of benefit for his team. All right. So some of his strengths, he has flexible pre-fight abilities. And as we mentioned, he's the first champion that can apply pre-fight abilities to an enemy, then let his teammates take advantage of them. Never seen that before. Uh, once he spends a persistent charge and applies a pre-fight debuff to the opponent, that opponent will have the debuff on them in their next fight, even if the attacking champion isn't Mr. Fantastic. This also works between Alliance members. That is deep. All right. That sounds very interesting. Now, uh, crossfight abilities, uh, he's also the first champion to have crossfight abilities, 
when he applies his cross fight ability to his opponent, that ability will stick with them for the next fights they participate in, even if those fights aren't against Mr. Fantastic. So other champions on your team can benefit from that as well. All right, uh, full team synergies. Similar to Captain America Infinity War, Mr. Fantastic has synergies that benefit his entire team, depending on their class. Once the synergy is active, it'll apply to all members of your team whose class matches that synergy. He also has a fantastic synergy with the other members of the Fantastic Four if you put them all on the same team. Now, one of his weaknesses is opponents who have true accuracy because he has evade and the chance to evade increases for every non-damaging debuff currently active on both Mr. Fantastic and his opponent. The chance for this evade can get quite high pretty easily, but if his opponent has true accuracy, they can bypass the evade entirely. All right. Uh, another weakness are champions that shrug off debuffs. Okay. Almost all of Mr. Fantastic's abilities are dependent on him building up debuffs on the opponent. He'll struggle to do much of anything if his opponent is shrugging off all of his debuffs. Okay. Makes sense. He's a champion that relies a lot on those debuffs. All right, now you saw his uh, passive ability. Um, he has physical and energy resistance. Um, he has a 5% chance to evade for each non-damaging debuff on either champion. Does not trigger during a well-timed block. That is nice. I wish they would do that for more champions. Okay, and his attack rating increases for each debuff on the opponent. Okay, um, and we have a dev note here. Um, it just says that note that his evade won't trigger during a well-timed block, but can trigger during regular blocks. All right, so parry, it's not going to trigger, so you will get the parry. That is something that I hate. Uh, when I'm fighting an auto evader and I go for the parry and they evade, and I have actually gotten taken out because of that. I'm in the corner, I needed the parry so that I could then fight out of the corner. And instead of a parry, he auto evades. The uh, opponent just keeps attacking. Now I'm in the corner, no chance to evade and got wrecked. All right, so very happy about that. Um, it says the goal of this was to give Mr. Fantastic a way to avoid the chip damage that comes through regular blocks by letting him just evade instead. Okay, fair enough, but I like it. All right, uh, one of his pre-fight abilities uh, is called prepared for anything. All right, before the fight, you can choose up to three unique debuffs to place on the opponent at the start of the next fight. Each debuff costs one persistent charge. Mr. Fantastic starts with two persistent charges and can have up to five. When Mr. Fantastic finishes a fight, he gains one persistent charge for each unique debuff on the opponent. These debuffs each last 12 seconds and are refreshed when the opponent is knocked down. The debuffs are applied even if a different champion enters the fight. We mentioned this before. All right. Uh, debuff potency scales with the rarity of Mr. Fantastic. That is interesting, isn't it? Uh, if different versions of a debuff are applied, only the strongest ones trigger. Okay, so you're not going to stack all of those different debuffs. It's only going to do the strongest one. Okay, now something to note is that Mr. Fantastic's pre-fight debuffs, they all cost persistent charges. So if you are regularly using them and then letting another champion go in to fight for you eventually you are going to have to go into a fight with mr fantastic uh, because your teammates 
are not going to be able to get those persistent charges back. All right, so just a little regulating there. It's not, you know, crazy or anything. All right, um, you also have uh, another uh, prepared for anything. One of the other ones uh, is a petrify debuff. And that reduces the effectiveness of regen and power gain by 30%. So Captain America Infinity War has a Petrify. His is 25%. Void has a Petrify, and it's 50% for Void. So we've got Mr. Fantastic, and he has 30%, but he has a max of 3 that you can apply. So you can shut down someone's healing pretty much. All right, because you have that. And then if you have the uh, despair mastery, you're basically going to shut down their regen and possibly reverse it as well with that uh, mastery. All right. Um, you've got suppress the opponent, um, which decreases their defensive power rate by 19 perfect, uh, percent. And you have debuff siphon. Uh, the opponent increasing the pot uh, potency of damage over time debuffs on them by 19%, something you can place on them and then you can go in with a debuff heavy champion, you know, Nick Fury, uh, Void, anybody that has these damage over time debuffs and this will enhance it so they're doing more damage. All right, now that suppression that we were just talking about, that's a new debuff that is coming in with Mr. Fantastic. And it's very similar to Innervate, except instead of shutting off the opponent's defensive power rate entirely, it just decreases by that percentage uh, that I mentioned. Okay, the debuff Siphon that I mentioned as well is another new debuff that Mr. Fantastic has. And it's very effective against opponents who easily apply damaging debuffs to the opponent, like Morningstar or Abomination. All right. And as I mentioned, it's great for increasing your teammates' damage over time debuffs, like Nick Fury or Domino. Uh, but it does not affect the bleed or poison from Double Edge and Liquid Courage, nor will it affect the Cold Snap from Iceman's signature ability, okay? Uh, just bear that in mind, um, but they do work with Void. All right, now opponent activates a special attack. When the opponent activates a special attack, uh, you'll place an indefinite careful study debuff on them for that special attack. A careful study debuff lowers the attack rating of each hit in the special attack by 25%. If Mr. Fantastic was struck by the last hit of the special attack, place one additional copy of the debuff. All copies of the debuff are purified when the opponent activates a different special attack than the one that triggered the debuff. So if you can just keep cycling the same attack, you know, bait out the special one, then bait out the special one again, that's what you want to do and you'll get the benefit from this okay so you have to kind of be careful uh, about the order that you trigger the special attacks uh, because if you lose track and accidentally trigger the same special attack too many times in a row that special attack will be weakened for the rest of the fight okay so that's when you are fighting mr fantastic Okay, you want to uh, be careful of that. Uh, and it's possible to get three different careful study passives on the opponent, one passive for each of their special attacks. Okay, now that careful study, which we mentioned, that's that cross fight ability, which is new. Okay, and if a set of careful study debuffs are converted into a passive, that passive will attach to the champion for the next fights that the champion participates in. Even if Mr. Fantastic loses the fight, the passive will still be attached. How cool is that? 
Uh, this makes it even more important to track what special attacks are used because you could end up weakening your best attack champion right before fighting the quest boss. Or if you're playing as Mr. Fantastic, you could trigger these on a boss, lose the fight, then the boss will still be weakened for the next time it's attacked, including by a different Alliance member. Okay, very, very nice. Um, heavy attacks on the last hit, uh, it'll pause pre-fight debuffs for three seconds. Uh, heavy attacks also refresh pre-fight debuffs because they knock the opponent down. The pause will take effect after the debuff is refreshed, so they'll be paused for their full duration. All right. And I'm not going to go too much more into uh, his other SIG abilities and all of that. Um, but there's a lot to Mr. Fantastic. Okay. Um, recommended masteries, of course, will be Despair and Resonate. Okay. Those will synergize very well. Uh, with him and you can read what his uh, special attacks his special one special two special three attacks do all right so let's take a look at his animations and check him out in realm of legends all right so we're about to head into realm of legends here uh, you can see I'm going in with just Mr. Fantastic. No synergies active. And I am running suicide, so when you're looking at the damage numbers, bear that in mind. They are modified by my sin, uh, suicides. And you can see here he starts with the two persistent charges that we mentioned before. Uh, here are his different uh, pre-fight abilities. All right, so uh, this petrification ray... It's not going to help us against Winter Soldier. Uh, now, the suppression field, that might be useful. Uh, we're not going up against someone who is going to place a lot of debuffs, so this suppression field looks like it's going to be the way to go. Now, you can activate two because you do start with two persistent charges. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in here. And let's check out, we'll work up to a special uh, three. All right, so here we go. I'll fire off a special one first. Okay. That's what his special one looks like. And I'm going to tell you right now, I am really not a fan of how he looks. Uh, to me, he looks really goofy. Um, you know, Warlock was funny. Warlock has some great animations. But, look at this. This block is this one big giant hand up here. I don't know. It just doesn't, just doesn't do it for me. Alright, so, here we go with the, uh, special two. Now, that special two looked pretty good. Why did he stop blocking? I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, build up to a special three. And just keep in mind, we're just trying to showcase uh, his animations here. Got that perfect damage, All right? Okay, that looked pretty cool. But so far, it looks like his um, special two is the uh, go-to here. See that again. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so we're not gonna do a full kill here. But I do wanna just play around a little bit more here. Okay. 
Okay. Respectable damage. Okay, let's uh, bait out his special two, which normally we don't want to do. Okay, let's hit him with that special one. Okay. Bait out another special two. Look at that evade. Not bad. Let's try that again. Another special two off here. Okay. Yeah. Nice evades. Cool. All right. All right, guys. We'll do another special three and then uh, end this one. Hopefully you guys have enough information uh, to make your decision. I gave you a lot of information that the devs gave us. Uh, so hopefully it was enough to make a decision. You see his animations. Actually, you know what? Let's do a heavy. There we go. All right, so that's gonna do it guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.